Hey, what's up, Urban Smart Network? It's your boy, Bob Smoke, and we're down here at Cartagena, Colombia, and we're going to show you this beautiful city. That's right. We jumped on a plane, left North America, and headed for South America. We landed in a beautiful city called Cartagena. It's located in the Caribbean side of Colombia and was founded in 1533 by Pedro de Hevdia. Hey, that's right. We're down here in Cartagena, Colombia where the beaches are clean, the women are beautiful, and the men work hard. We're gonna take you guys through some food, through some eating, let you know some history. USN, Urban Smart Network. So let's go over transportation. Of course they have a bus for the people. They also have taxi cabs everywhere. You can also get uh, Uber, which I would suggest that you grab, unless you're familiar with the currency exchange rate, because when you hit the airport, everybody and their father will be trying to give you a ride. The currency rate is about 3,500 to one. The locals use the dirt bikes as taxis because their living situation up in the hills, the roads may not be paved. So the best way to get around in that transportation is by a dirt bike. You'll see a lot of those around. So we pulled up on the beach, we were staying in a nice condo, we picked it up on Airbnb, got a good deal for it, and the boy found out that he left his underwear. So, luckily, there's a mall right in the same building, which is like a four-level mall. They had retail stores, uh, restaurants, also had currency exchange and ATM. So I was out on the balcony catching the ocean breeze and out the distance I heard some English speaking voices. I looked down and I met these brothers. What's good? Shout out to Urban Smart Network. We're out here in Columbia right now. Cartagena. This is a good vibe. Now. I am Jay Shacha, Instagram for your professional images and video photography on your man. Out here in Cartagena, doing my boy's big birthday. Having a great time, man. So I'm out here for my birthday weekend just trying to have a good time. My boy's over here. We just kicking it, man. My name's Omari from Orlando, hanging out in Columbia, having an excellent time, man. You know, it's, it's one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. They were some real cool brothers, man, from Orlando, and uh, they were down here partying as well. We exchanged numbers, decided to hook up later on when the nightlife set in. So stay tuned. First thing we did was we had to drop the bags, grab something to eat. Napa, baby, on official. Coconut rice, plantains, they big on plantains out here. Red snap is the number one uh, delicacy out here. It's very abundant. Everybody sells it, everybody has it. Um, it's usually pan fried whole. So if you got a problem with eating a fish with the head on it, uh, you might have some issues some places, but a lot of places they do have it filleted if you that's your kind of thing. And the spot we went to, they told us the picture that you're looking at was actually the founder, and she passed away in 2018. Um, the meat we found was pretty uh, tasty, you know, nice and soft. Um, and yo, yeah, all the food is good, man. Only on UrbanSmartNetwork.com. During the time of this trip, Colombia was celebrating Three Kings holiday. And so they had a light display downtown, which you're looking at now. Dia de los Reyes, which roughly translates as Day of the Kings. This holiday celebrates when the Three Kings brought baby Jesus gifts in Bethlehem. Cartagena was lit up. They had fireworks displays, parades, the light displays were everywhere. Kids, parents, family, all celebrated, ran around the city enjoying the festivities. The 
It's also known as the Feast of Epiphany. It's a holiday rooted in Christianity and it occurs each year on January 6th. It's a day of food, festivities, gift giving. In fact, some families, especially in Latin America and in Spain, exchange gifts on Dia de los Reyes instead of Christmas. Only on UrbanSmartNetwork.com. What's up, guys? My name is Chen. Pleasure to meet with you. And right now, you're watching UrbanSmartNetwork.com. The wall city gets live at night. Fellas, you may find your wife here. Or, fellas, you could lose your wife here. So when the sun goes down, everybody goes to the wall city slash old city. Uh, that's where you find the outdoor restaurants and cafes. Um, as far as the entertainment, all type of, of street shows, um, street performers rather. Um, you got dancers, you got Michael Jackson impersonators. Man, it was crazy, it was crazy. Everything you want is in the Wall City and that's where the nightlife comes alive. We hit two clubs, we hit Delirium and we also hit Space. You walk into Space um, and you walk up those stairs and the minute you go through that door, man, we talking 50, 60, 70 women. And we were the only fellas that had first arrived. You will see some beautiful girls here like you wouldn't believe, unbelievable. We were the only guys when we initially walked in there, um, nothing but love. Uh, we ordered a bottle immediately. You can get a bottle anywhere from $40 to 80 or 90 for a premium bottle. And very good time. Uh, most of the music you're gonna hear is Latin music, but they will mix in a little English speaking hip hop and a little English reggae in also. But most of what you're gonna hear is reggae tone all night. Let me tell you right now, when you go into space, be ready. It's, it's a once, almost a once in a lifetime experience. There's hookahs. Um, you can get a table anywhere from $40 to $100, depending on where and the size of your party. Um, order the hookah and um, we were like on display. Um, I'm talking if you like them thick, if you like them skinny, if you like them pretty, if you like them not so pretty, whatever you're looking for, um, you'll find in there. The second club we went to was called Delirium. So one of the newest clubs is called Delirium. It's a beautiful club. There's a big balcony area where if you want a little more privacy, you can go up to the balcony area. If you want to be down in the middle of things, you can be near the dance floor where there's two bars. Um, you can buy a bottle or you can buy individual drink or you can buy cheap local beer if you like. Delirium was another crazy spot um, we managed to get to. Um, you walk in there, and I mean, the love they showed us was off the, the, the Richter scale, man. So the girls here are usually open to conversation. They're glad to talk to you, but if you don't say anything to them, they won't say anything to you. A lot of love from the locals. Um, drinks were great. Uh, we managed to meet a couple people in there, um, showed us around town. My personal opinion, I think the crowd in Delirium was a little bit younger, but the music was more hip hop, Afro beats, reggaeton mixed in. Uh, it was a very good time, very nice club, beautiful girls everywhere. The folks really, really, really took care of us. On your way out, it's very safe, a lot of security around, no problems, no hostility. To be honest with you, I'm very well traveled. Um, I've been all over Europe, Asia, and Africa, and I'll tell you this, um, you know that weird feeling you get when you're in the wrong, wrong area? I never had that happen to me once in Cartagena. Um, I, all, uh, everywhere I went, um, you know, people were very gracious and hospitable. Um, I, for somehow they could tell I wasn't a local and um, all I got was love everywhere I went. Um, I must say, Cartagena is one of the uh, unique cities in the world because again, um, I, I don't know what the, I know what the media says and what you may hear um, out in the streets about Colombia. It is quite the contrary. Uh, nice people, good food, um, very hospitable. on urbansmartnetwork.com.
Man, what's going on? It's your boy IMJ Sacha, and you're looking at UrbanSmartNetwork.com. Restaurants on the beaches were pretty nice. Um, again, you know, we're not talking about any extravagant um, food. Uh, however, the food was great, uh, very well seasoned. Um, it, you know, as things are generally on the beach, a little bit more pricier. However, um, we enjoyed our time at all the various beaches. Um, we fell in love with this one spot that we found, Boca Grande Beach. Uh, it happened to be this elevated bar that we were sitting at where the water came right up to the edge of the bar and we were elevated. So it was a real great experience. You could almost, you know, be at the beach without getting wet, if you will, being on top of the waves. Uh, great staff at this particular place. Um, it's also where we got our foot massages um, daily. And um, I must say, it's a, definitely a spot you gotta check out. My name is Yorki. I'm from Cartagena, Colombia. In Urban Smart Network. Eve Mas Eve. <laughs> 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 Yo, that's my girl, Yorkie. Yorkie is a massage therapist. Most ladies that you might see as a massage therapist here on the beach, they walk around with their buckets. But you gotta be careful because they start off rubbing your leg and the next thing you know, getting a full body massage. Uh, we managed to find a mobile COVID um, tester. They actually came to our Airbnb. Um, tested all of us. Um, they were a little on the pricey side, but you know, when you're out there, you just gotta do what you gotta do. Um, uh, we were all negative, luckily. Uh, but again, when you're out there, you definitely wanna be careful. Um, you're gonna find yourself in a lot of crowded clubs. Man, we had a great time. Nothing but love, um, hospitality, and good food. So I highly suggest you check it out. Only on urbansmartnetwork.com. Hey, what's up, Urban Spot Network? This is Joe London, all the way from Fruit Town, Louisiana. They thought I wouldn't make it, but I'm here. Peace. Time to get back on the road and travel 50 miles to San Basilo de Palenque. It's a historic black community um, that was founded in the 1600s by escaped slaves. Palenque. San Basilio de Palenque. Hola, mi nombre es Nelson y voy a llevar a los chicos a Palenque, San Basilio de Palenque. So we drove through the hills and countryside, through some tolls, about 50 miles, and then we came into the entrance of the Palenque. Hey, what's up, y'all? We just took us a trip through the hills, the mountains, saw a lot of scenery. But it wouldn't be right if we didn't come down here to what we heard is called a Palenque. The driver called ahead. He's going to hook us up with our guy, Jeremy. He's going to take us around, see what we can see, introduce us to the history of his community. This is Palenque. People, this is Palenque, the first free village of America. This is 100% black people in this community. You know, if you want to come and visit the first free village of America, please come with me. This is Hermine too. He went on to explain that the founder of this Palenque, Banque Bijo, was an escaped slave who founded this Palenque not only for escaped slaves from Colombia, but also escaped slaves from the diaspora who found their way to this Palenque. Bank of the Hole, the founder. Right here. Name of Bank of the Hole. The leader of the revolution, right here. Oh yeah, this is the first free village of America, and Palenque, for us, mean town surrounded by fences of wood, like that's behind to you. You know, fences around the uh, wood. When the, this town was a smaller village, was a smaller village, was surrounded by fences of wood like a purchase against the wild, to the wild animals. To don, the wild animals don't come and get inside to take, to take our own children, our own people. You know, that's where the wild, why we come and then, you know, it's like a, a palisade. And you know, like, that's mean Palenque. Town surrounded by palisades, surrounded by fences of wood like this one. So he also explained that there's a pavilion here in the center of town that where they can have meetings or they just sit around and talk or play dominoes. This community is also very self-sufficient. Uh, they have their own church, their own clinic, their own court system and police department. 
So walking through this community, you'll notice that a lot of the roads are unpaved. They're in the process of having them paved now. Uh, as we were walking down these unpaved roads, you'll notice a lot of people using donkeys or motorcycles as transportation. We saw this infamous house that has I Love Being Black painted on the front, and we stopped to take a picture where we was quickly joined by our friend Julie. Palenquera, Julie! Who put on her traditional gear and came out to pose for a picture with us. So as we continue walking, Jeremy took us by his cousin's birthday party, where the DJ was none other than the famous artist from town who paints all the murals around town that you see. Further into the community, we noticed there's a prominent statue of a boxer. His name is Antonio Reyes, AKA Pamelo. And he is Colombia's first uh, heavyweight champion. Yeah, Antonio Cervantes Reyes, aka Pambele, the man with the power in the right hand. This was the first, the first world champion of boxing born here in Palenque. The first world boxing, world champion of boxing that escaped Colombia. This man, K. Pambele, champion in the year 72, was born in Palenque. And in 1945, 23 of December 23, you know, Panama country, he was champion. Bang, bang. The world champion boxer Pamelo is also the person who first brought electricity to his people in the Palenque. The man who brought the nation's electricity for this community. All of the houses here have electricity, running water, um, everybody has cell phones. Uh, they are pretty up on technology. Shout out to Jeremy. Thanks a lot for showing us around your Palenque. We really appreciate it. Whenever I travel, it's always good for me to see how other black people around the diaspora are progressing in life. Hey, hello people, what's up? This is, this is Hermie. My name is Hermie. I'm a local tourist guy of this community of San Basilio Palenque. I would like that you come and visit my community. You know, you're going to be a great experience coming here in the first three, three village of America. That was a great tour by Jeremy. His community is humble proud people and I hope you guys support it. It's nice to visit a community that also has descendants of slaves running things. This is Jeremy and I work with Urban Smart Network. Peace and love. That's real. Only on UrbanSmartNetwork.com Hey, my name is Joe and I'm down here at Castillo San Felipe. The castle is located on the hill of San Lazaro. Construction began in 1536 and it was later expanded in 1657. This name was given in honor of Philip IV of Spain. They don't give tours on the inside of the castle because it's reserved for dignitaries only. And today it's protected by Colombia's finest. So we on to the next spot. Peace. Only on UrbanSmartNetwork.com. Hola amigos, mi nombre es Genesis Madrid y estamos ahorita en Playa Blanca, la mejor playa de la ciudad de Cartagena. Aquí se concentra la mayor cantidad de gente y en este lugar usted la va a pasar súper genial porque este es el mejor lugar de esta ciudad. What up, dog? This is your boy Brandon and you're watching UrbanSmartNetwork.com. Brandon called me and said, Bob, you ready to go? I had completely forgotten about it. So we weren't prepared at all, but we jumped up. Yeah, I met the fellas at the dock. This is right outside the, the wall district, right near the clock tower. Right outside of that is a boat dock where they have all the yachts launched. We down here at Cartagena, get ready to jump on a boat, see what we can do, start island hopping. The boat that we had in particular, I was like a 20 passenger, got it for a really great price. When you take off the dock, the minute you get out there, you can automatically see the skyline, which is amazing. So on the way to Playa Blanca, we was relaxing, we drank our beers, we smoked our cigars, and just enjoyed this beautiful view. I mean, you can't beat that. We're on a beautiful boat, uh, nice scenery, you know, conversing with the guys, man, having drinks. All right, we down here at Playa Blanca. Playa Blanca Beach. Yeah, when I first saw Playa Blanca, Oh, man, I feel like I was in a movie, man. I mean, think about some of the clearest water. I mean, the, the sun, the weather was perfect, not a cloud in the sky. So our captain pulled right up to the beach, 
Someone met us there with a chair so we didn't even have to get wet if we didn't want to. Um, you gotta imagine when we pulled up um, in this 41 footer uh, to the beach um, with people all along the beach, um, the, the, the amount of love they showed us, people were high-fiving us, giving us thumbs up. Um, we felt no hate whatsoever. Playa La Blanca, Colombia, like 40 minute boat ride outside of Cartagena. We out here with my full town homie, uh, Joe Money. Outside, Pat Ruiz in the building. I'm with my homeboy in Maryland, uh, Bob Smoke. USN, uh, USN. We were immediately escorted to a cabana where we can order food. Again, I had the Red Snapper, which is my go-to meal in Colombia. It always, almost always comes with plantain done in different varieties of ways, uh, rice and vegetables. It was very good. You know, there were women out there willing to give us massages. I look over and I see John face down getting a full body massage. I was just sitting down chilling and, you know, it's like, hey, let me rub your back. So, you know, just like, no, 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 no. I mean, just so many no's you can say until it was, I mean, okay, start feeling good. So, okay, go ahead. You know, went from the neck, shoulders, and man, I mean, next thing you know, I'm laying down, uh, getting a full body and getting a uh, manicure, pedicure at the same mm -hmm. time. <laughs> um, so we're just having a good time, man. You're relaxing. Um, this is definitely a great getaway to kind of take your mind off your everyday life and live like the king. Playa Blanca is a must see. I'm telling you right now, Playa Blanca is a must go. So we pulled out from Playa Blanca, we went to Chalum. It's another island, it's about a 20 minute boat ride from Playa Blanca. This is like a Sunday fun day boat party. I mean, imagine, you know, going out on the water, but there's like 40, 50 other yachts out there. Everyone having a great time, everyone partying. We're out here in Chalong Island, where all the boats are out, gathering around, people partying. Check out the view. I feel like we're in a parade. Of course, we stand out, you know, <laughs> we're American. Uh, you know, we, we're, we're bigger than most of the men out there, so of course, you know, eyes on us. So it felt like we were like kings, felt like we're celebrities rolling through. Um, and everyone's just having a good time, man, uh, waving at you. And so that, that was like a, a party on the sea. I mean, it was, it was wild. I mean, I don't know where else you're gonna cruise around on a, on a yacht, or a, little, a little yacht, and, and have a great time and enjoy great people. I mean, it was a big part. We felt part of it. We saw some of the clearest water that exists. Um, we were tied up with, I say, another 150 boats in this area called Chaloom. Uh, music was blasting, drinks was flowing, um, eating good. And there, there's all the water sports you want. There's parasailing, there's jet skis. Um, there are people that do the rafting behind the speedboat. Um, but we were just taking it in. By this time, we had some drinks. We were all just kicked back, enjoying our drinks and our cigars, just admiring the beautiful women and the beautiful ships and boats all around. Make sure you appreciate life. This is what we work for, man. I would highly recommend coming out here. Follow my boys' movement. We got more to come. If you're looking for a captain to take care of you, take you to all the places that we went to today, holla at my man right here. You know, Boris. Boris. Garcia Hernandez. And um, I will say, uh, if you go to Cardena, you gotta do a boat trip. The boat trip was the highlight of our trip. And um, I, I couldn't imagine us going to Cartagena and not doing a boat trip. We were able to kind of chop it up and meet some of the people out there. Very cool, telling us where to go. Um, some, of, some of the spots to hang out at. Um, and it's, it's a great experience, man. I can't wait to get back out there. on urbansmartnetwork.com.
We down here at Tia La Bamba. Isla Punta Arena, Margarita Beach Club. This is about two miles off the Cartagena coast. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your boy, Tech, and you're watching UrbanSmartNetwork.com. Columbia gets a bad rap in the media. Uh, a lot of that stuff you hear, we did not experience. Um, as I mentioned earlier, people were very, very hospitable. My name is Edwin. I'm here in Colombia. I mean, she like it, whatever you want. I got a business. I got a city tour, Rosario Island, Playa Blanca. I go to Palenque, the best on the world. Coming back to Colombia, everything's okay. That's nice one. For everybody, for everywhere. Okay, brother? Okay. See you, my friend. The taxi cabs we met. Uh, taxi cab drivers, rather. Thanks to our driver, Nelson, we got back in time to watch this beautiful sunset. Nelson showed us a beautiful time, wonderful host. If you ever come to Caradina, look Nelson up. Bye-bye, thank you, bye-bye. The people we met on the street. Yo me llamo Jorge. Soy de Colombia, Cartagena. Eh, el Evis Ma More Network. Network? <laughs> yes. It's an urban smart network. <laughs> um, the other tourists we ran into. You know, Colombia is almost like living in paradise, honestly. You can have a great time out there um, and definitely, you know, take advantage of everything you have, you know, because it's you there for a short amount of time. There's so much to do that you may not get it in. Um, we're already planning another trip. We did not have a single bad experience. Keep in mind, I'm, I'm very well traveled. I've been all over the world, and Cartagena was one of the places um, where I would say I had the, you know, the, the least issues at. In fact, we didn't have a single issue. That trip went off without a hitch um, from the time we landed to the time we left. Cartagena is a world-class city. I mean, everyone was cool. Everyone was cordial. Uh, I mean, we had we had no problem. Hey, this is Bob Small. We caught the hand in Columbia. It's been real. Only on UrbanSmartNetwork.com. Only on UrbanSmartNetwork.com.